Hello everybody, good morning and welcome back to my channel. This is Terry. Welcome to another edition of An Orchid A Day. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm in need of doing a couple of repots on a cat, not a repot. I'm going to spray them. I'm going to take this out of the pot and just spray that, spray it, and then I will not show me putting it back in the pot, but I'm just going to show me getting rid of the scale. And that does require me getting it out of the pot. Um, this one is one that I've had on this mount for about a year now. This is my chocolate drop crossed with Potnar Little Toshi. And this was the first plant that I put on the Italia mount. As you can see, the ceramic mount. And it took very well to it. It actually bloomed last winter and then the buds lasted this fall. Um, I noticed today that it's got some scale developing down near the base along the rhizome down there. You can see that white down there on the rhizome. And I'm not sure, but in spraying it down as I do, it will get all of that old sheath off all down around the roots and the back and front of the leaves. I'm not sure if there's much of, yeah, there's some right there. You can see it right in there. And there's some on the leaf there. So it will get all of it off of that one. This one is a little bit more intensive. It's got more down in the axles, the, the, ac the leaf axles. I guess that's what you would call that but that's the problem area where it's, you can't get that out without spraying it. My toothbrush won't get it out. So I'm just going to dump this out of the pot, create of its media. This plant happens to be, it was a bag baby when I received it. It is BLC Lime Cooler Cruel Smith. It's a green flower. It's never blown for me. There you can see more close so I'm just loosely going to tease this both of these plants are pretty much in dormancy this plant um, when I got it it put up these two new growths right here so it's doing very well but and again like this plant in spring it it will get all of these sheaths off because that is where a lot of this, the uh, scale lies. It looks like there's a root peeking out, but I'm still going to get at it because it is definitely in need. I will be as gentle as I can, but caring less about the roots at this moment than I am about eradicating the scale. So let me set this up and I'll be back in a flash. Okay, and I'm back. And like I've done before, you've seen me do this before. I think I did it once in the dark, but I'm doing it now in the daylight. And you know I love to use my hose on this fast up a stream. And so this is what I do. And just going to hold the plant a little bit firmer and make sure that I am getting all of in between these areas of the plant. Turning it around. And spraying. Making sure that I get down the stem, the suitable around the rhizome but really paying attention to these areas as I already pointed out and that goes for the front and the back okay And just keep working my way around until I have done this to every single one. 
There's a cedar bear. Now if I turn it off, I'll show you so far. Okay, we are looking back into these areas of the plant. You can see, I'm turning it around. There's that. There's another one, fronts and back. There's a back. So I think that was a good job. You see that? And I'll even go in even further into these areas. I mean, I could probably do it another time, another, give it another spray. But I don't see a whole lot of scale left. So I'm going to set that one down and I'm picking this one up. As I said before, a lot of the scale that I saw was in the area down towards the rhizome, which is a long rhizome down in this area along that ridge and I'll spray up in this area to get along these old ridges. They're soft and sometimes scale will hide in here on the fronts and the backs and underneath these sheaths. But primarily, I will focus on down there. And here I go. Sorry for the noise. So like I said, I'm concentrating on the rhizome area and you can already see. Make sure I hit it from both sides. Check it out. Okay, so looking closer at it, down in this area where there was those remnants, I'm not seeing them now. The sheath that was there is gone and looks pretty clean to me overall. I did look at the backs of the leaves, I sprayed them. What I'm gonna do now is since I do believe that's a pretty good job I must say so myself don't be scared to take a hose to your plant I think it's the better solution than using chemicals even though I'm probably going to in this instance I don't think I will it's been sprayed already this fall um, I just want to get the topical stuff off which is the visible scale that I was seeing. And I'll just leave it at that. I'll hang it back in the greenhouse and hopefully it will stay bug free. If not, I will give it another treatment on the insecticide. But anyway, folks, thanks a lot for watching. And again, don't be afraid to spray your plants. I will be potting this back up pronto, but that's another video again. Thanks and enjoy your orchids. Bye.